the rotted man. When I was a child of only three, the rotted man came for me. Late one night from my open door, he slowly crept across the floor. He took me by the hand and said, I'll save you from this life of dread. We left the house in the early morning and took his carriage of blackened thorn. We rode for hours through thick, dense fog to a darkened, unlit, swamp-filled bog where topless trees with hanging moss were shields from the unseen winter frost. The thick, wet heat from the dense, cool air crept up your back and through your hair. He took me to his house of bones on a path laid with cobblestones. Upon his door hung a head of a child with hair of fiery red. His hall was bathed in blood-red tile. The walls were stacks of flesh and piles. He told me of his protective view and begged that I should join him too. He smiled and through his rotted lips I saw a thousand children's fingertips. He promised me the world would pay and told me that I could stay. Then we entered a smaller room and the rotted man gave me a red balloon. Then I saw my mom through tinted glass. The man with her was talking fast. The tears were pouring from her eyes. The man then held her while she cried. Then the rotted man did the strangest thing. He sat down with me and began to sing. A soft, nice tune that filled my head with puppy dogs and fresh-baked bread. It was then I noticed that the rotting man was simply old and had a tan. And then my mom burst in the room, the feel of warmth, her sweet perfume. She hugged me tight and swore to me, from here on out, Dad would let us be. No more bruises, no more fights, no more screaming in the night. The rotted man had saved our lives by taking those who beat their wives. And children that cry when they're dropped and are beaten senseless until they stop. I thank the rotted man a lot and never have I forgot that the thing I feared saved my life. They had found my father with a knife. There are real horrors on this earth. Some are subjected to them at birth. We were saved by a man of rot. I was lucky, but many are not.